I first spoke about Metsitsa Pepet when I ran in 2005. There's a clip outside, Naftali has them, where I was trying to get anyone possible to talk about it in the context of that campaign. Because as you know, this didn't start last week. This has been going on for years now that this battle has been going on. And for me, it comes down to my values as someone who believes in the ethos of New York. And part of that ethos of New York is we all come from different places. We bring different cultures, we bring different ideas. We never are too far from our mother country. We try to bring those traditions here. And that's very, very important and part of the fundamental structure of the Frum community. I don't think this is a good guy or bad guy in this situation. I think we're all concerned about the children. Um, I have some concerns uh, about the, uh, the practice. Uh, however, uh, when I'm mayor, I'm going to bring everyone together, the community as well as the Board of Health, and we will come to, a, uh, I think, some consensus that will police all of, all of the different entities. I think the mayor approached this the wrong way. I think he had tried to impose his will without respect for religious tradition, without any effort at real dialogue with the community in an attempt to balance the legitimate concerns of the safety of our children with the fact that it is our solemn responsibility to also respect every tradition, every culture, every religion, and be very careful uh, that government not unfairly intrude. Uh, I would start over is the bottom line. Uh, I think even before taking office as mayor, there's time to get together with community leaders, change the policy to find a way to protect all of our children, but also respect religious tradition in an appropriate manner, and come in day one to City Hall with a new policy that's fair. On the issue of Matitza's pet, this is, this, is this is something that's been going on for thousands of years. Thousands of years. And it's gone, it's continued to this day, until for some reason, a particular billionaire mayor in this city decided that he must know better than anybody else over the thousands of years that this practice has gone on and imposed this requirement, a, 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 a legal requirement, on something that has been of great religious importance to so many people still today in New York City and around the world. So the answer to your question is, I would not continue that requirement. This is something that we should defer to the rabbi. Now on the question of the consent forms, I've heard loud and clear that the way they were implemented was a way where the community felt like they weren't properly consulted, where they weren't properly given the opportunity to give input. And that is obviously unacceptable. We shouldn't have a system where people are cut out and their voice isn't allowed into the system. Now that said, I think the consent form does balance the need for an important city commitment for religious freedom with public health concerns. And although I wouldn't have implemented it in a way where people's voices was, were cut out, I would not change the consent form. I would leave it in place moving forward. Thank you very much. Pastor Salgado.